Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at transferring items between players or other places using pistons. So first we're going to use a transferal tower and a receiving tower. And then next we're going to take a look at a trading station using pistons. So to demonstrate this one, it's basically just an item cannon that launches items up and then forward. So if we throw items in here, we can see that when we press the button, a repeater with a maxed out delay is here. And since the button is here, it's going to launch it up immediately, whereas this side is going to be delayed. And then up here, and into a tower of inverters, which also add to the delay, but not nearly as much, by about, I don't know, four... Basically, these are about worth one of a repeater setting but they just go upward and then the last one is off right now so that whenever the tower lights up this last one will activate the piston which will launch it forward and since it'll still have vertical momentum at the time the, when the horizontal is added it will go directly through this hole and then land in our receiver side where it will then come through this hole fall in and activate a pressure pad where it lands which will then turn off this uh, redstone torch which will turn on this torch and so if we have an item here the indicator will be on and it will notify any workers or anyone waiting for supplies that there are supplies to be collected and so now if we come over here throw a couple more items in and then press the switch we can see it in action the button that is up, out. It disappeared because it was going too far too fast, but it still did uh, go through, it just didn't render. So there it is. Click the items, the switch goes off. Pretty simple. And so um, it looks a lot better once you have all the walls up, of course. I just like to have everything, you know, the guts spilling out so you can see it all. But pretty simple. And then over here, this is a trading station. And this sort of rectifies the problem that Minecraft has involving trading in that whenever you're trading with someone, you want to be able to have each person confirm the trade before the trade is executed. And you don't want people grabbing items in the middle of a trade and such like uh, that. So what I have is just a piston system which will push the items only when the confirmation switches are pulled. So each player has their own confirmation switches that will confirm the trade and then once the switches are pulled any items will be pushed that way will be pushed into the respective collection zones and of course you want this more secure I just have two holes here so that you can walk through for demonstration purposes but of course usually you would want the whole thing filled with glass so that you could see through it but not walk through it so let's say that a player wants to trade some cobblestone for sand, so they throw their cobblestone in, the other player throws their sand in, and once the player who wants cobblestone sees that the other person has dropped cobblestone in, they will flick their confirmation switch. And of course, unfortunately, you can't count how many are there, but at least you can see it, which is a lot better than what we have now. So then the other player sees that they have their sand ready, and they flip their switch, and then they get their sand, and the other player gets their cobblestone. And then before they leave, it's important that they flick it back up so that it's ready for the next group of trading partners. And then we can take a look at the redstone down below, and I just have a trap door with just a switch and a piston. Flick it off, climb down the ladder. And right here is where our switch is, and it can power if it's um, at ground level. See, there's the block there, and the switch is coming off the side. If it is like that, then it can power the redstone below it, so the switch's power is coming down under this block and into our end gate on one side, whereas the other, other switch is coming down and into the other side of the end gate, which has an ore in the middle of it so it's not inverted at the end because we're going to invert it at the very end so it is an AND gate but they're not inverted right away 
So then the power is coming out and up into these blocks here, which are directly under our piston blocks. And it has an inverter here, so this is where our AND gate finally inverts and becomes an AND gate. So it just comes up, plugs into that, and that will activate the block, which will activate the piston. And it's doing that on both sides. I just have a block bridge over this redstone wire. So it's just coming over and doing the same thing on this side, and that's where it will activate the piston. Oop, wrong side. And of course, if you need to get through these trap doors on multiple sides, you might want to use buttons or something, but this is just for simplicity in case water rushes in or something. And the result is pretty simple. You just flick the switches, acts as an AND gate, and once the AND gate's active, the trading occurs. Pretty easy. And um, what you may want to do is perhaps make a door in the center so that if you have some kind of uh, one-way trading system where it's assumed that this is a shop and people are coming in to trade uh, with the shop that will always be here you may want a door in the center an iron door with a switch at the top so that the shopkeeper can walk through and flick up the switch in case the customer forgot otherwise that's pretty much it see you next time